So we're gonna start out with las gomitas or gummies. Thank you, my lovely assistant. All right, so let's start with the pica fresa. All right, these are soft. They are chewy. Also, we got our palate cleansers right here. I ain't gonna tell you what's in here. The wash off, the taste on each one gets water. Mm. This is really sweet. This is good. I can eat this. These are good piñata candies, straight up. These are ones you would fight for. These are all kind of taste the same, so let's try the other ones. You got melon? It says melon, but it's a sandia on there. He's wearing a watermelon now. I think I might like the watermelon one better. They're both good candies, though. Mm. It has more of a punch to it, for real. I might like the fresa one. You like the fresa one more? Let's try the last one out of the pica family. Pica tamarindo. It's a nasty ball of food. It's like covered in this. Yours looks different than mine, man. It's got more coating on it. It's got layers. Like ogres and onions. This, this one was last place for me. Yeah. They suck. No, they're all good. All good candies. I would be happy walking away from a piñata war from any of these. I like strawberry better. Yeah, I like strawberry more too. All right, I'm cool most. with that. We can rearrange these later at any point, but to start it out, I would say these are solid. They are B. Where do you think? I'll say B right now, because there's so many candies. So let's settle at B for now, and we can move out later, depending on where things land. Man, I still got some of that stuck in my teeth, man. I feel like I'm about to visit the dance after this. Next one will be the pulparindats. So if you've never had a pulparindo, this is like a little strip, we'll have those in a bit. These are kind of like the chewy, hard candy ball version. First we'll do the original yellow right, flavor. Right. It kind of looks like M&M's, the peanut ones. Oh, this does look like, this looks like a straight up peanut m and It even says P on there. Oh shit, for real? <laughs> but M&M's have M&M's. M&M's. Ooh, that is so. Yeah, these don't feel like they're sticking to my teeth like this. But do I, would you put them above the pica fresa? No. I don't think so. No, no teeth. No. It's got a weird aftertaste. The watermelon one. Watermelon. That's got a nice green hue to it. What's your melon? How many calories in this house? Yeah, I'm trying to check the ingredients. Oh, they're on Spanish. They're on Spanish calories. This one doesn't have that aftertaste that the original ones had, but I would still say they're not impressing me as much like these other ones. Oh, right. Let's catch one. What do you think, Karen? These aren't wowing me. I like the one more. You like the original one more? Yeah. It doesn't have as much flavor packed in like the pica middle one for sure. The last one is the red, the spicy one. So like, if I like the pulparindos, I think the red one's my favorite, but I've never tried these dots before. This is probably the best one out of the three. But that's just me, guys. This does look a little menacing. Look at that color. I wouldn't say the other ones are super spicy either. But... If, really, if you have enough of them. We do have a bite, so a lot of this might not be spicy to us. It does have a kick to the end. This one does have that lingering heat to it, but not a lot. I might like this one more than yeah. this one. I think yellow's good. These are still fine candies, though. I think I would I would totally be happy if I had these in my, my candy bag, in my goodie bag. But I would definitely put them below the pica fresa. So I, I would say let's put these in C. C, for sure. C, wait. C, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice throw, nice catch. Next we got salsa getty. This is for all our Italian viewers out there. This is like the Mexican version of that, but like not at all. So you got the little pasta right there. You got the ragu right here, the sauce to pour on top. You gotta put all that gooey, gooey goodness. Holy shit. And here's our finished product. Bon appetit, my friend. All right, you wanna do a little Lady in the Tramp? <laughs> <laughs> This reminds me of licorice. I don't like licorice. The texture does remind me of licorice. Right. I wouldn't say the taste is anywhere near licorice, though. Licorice is like bitter. The candy itself is really sweet. The sauce is what gives it that spicy to it. It's messy, but it's a good candy. I'm gonna go ahead and dry first. <laughs> it might be better without the sauce, to be honest. Oh, you think the sauce is what screwed it up? Maybe. It does taste completely different without the sauce. I don't know, now, now that I'm tasting it, it tastes, it tastes very rubbery. That's my gripe with it. So the sauce like getting. For all the work, it seems like a lot of hassle, and the taste is all right. But out of everything we've had, I would say it's probably the lowest. C or D? No C? Yeah, I would say the salsa getty out of the, these three are probably the lowest. All right, on to the next. Serpentinas. Thank you. These are serpentinas. I'm going to be honest, I've never had these before. I kind of just asked people a list of candies. So this will be our first time trying them ever. So this kind of looks like, this is like a Mexican fruit roll -up. Holy shit, for real, dude, look at this. So serpentinas. It's like a serpent for our non-Spanish speakers out there. It's mushy. It tastes like a fruit pulp thing. I'm gonna eat the whole thing, but I'm not liking it. You should have eaten like a savage one. But when the kids bite into the bubble tape yeah. the halfway through, I don't it's like new lowest candy. This is new low for now, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. It says dulce de frutas. So yeah, so it is, it might be like a fruit pulp. Am I eating healthy candy? Not knowing it? Without my consent? D? D or not that? Ooh, these are good. These taste too much like fruit, which is I guess exactly what they advertise on there, but in terms of candy, not my favorite. Next we have Squeakless. This is 
is our last candy in the goma section. Are these straws? These are like those uh, sour punch straws, right? Same brand as the spaghetti. Oh, I thought it was a straw. Yeah, I, I like that kind of straw. They're filling. They're rellenos. See, that's what makes it stand out versus the, the salsa getty. All the flavor is inside. The salsa getty had all the flavor in the sauce, and then that was too much of a mess. This is good. It's way better. This tastes more like pineapple than anything, too. As advertised. Good yeah, pineapple. yeah. Well, they deliver. That was the pineapple, now we got the watermelon. You can see it's sprinkled with, what is that, sugar? Yeah. Tea then sugar. It's good. The yeah, sprinkles are great, but between the watermelon and the pineapple, I'm gonna have to give the edge to the pineapple. I agree. I agree. Where do you wanna put these? Beet? I said beet. I feel like if you leave me with a whole pack of those, I will eat all of those though. Except for Goma, what's next? It's time for the paletas. All right, if you agreed or disagreed with our tier list, make sure to let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And check out some more of our content. We'll see you over there. For this candy, we're only including... <laughs> For this candy, we're only including a list. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite Mexican. <laughs> I got, I got that. What's your favorite Mexican person? Uh, is that I? Is that is that I? I, I too much? I. 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 I